Good afternoon guys, welcome back. Um, it's cold again unfortunately, so I've got my heater on, keeping me warm and my coat because I'm not working today. Um, for those who are regular subscribers, welcome back. For those that aren't, where have you been? What's taking you so long? But thanks for coming. Um, those of you who regularly watch the videos will know that the car normally comes up to here on me. Now the fact that the car is down here, it either means that I've grown this much in a week or we've made some progress. I'm hoping it's the first option, but I'm thinking it's gonna be the second. Let's go and take a look. Yep, it's the second option. I don't think I've grown since about primary school, to be fair. Um, we are down on axle stands and we are as low as we can go. We were on the heavy duty axle stands very high up. We dropped them all the way down as low as they'll go, but it was still a little bit too high for our liking. So we've got some more regular axle stands and we've dropped the car down as low as possible because like I say, we want a little bit of height to lift the engine in. So let's go and have a look at how we did it. guys I want to just keep you up to date with where we are and where we're going and um, now whilst we're on the subject of engines engine installs and first startups I thought I'd show you a little video that I found the other day I had a little trawl back through my phone and found uh, an old video from quite a few years ago now it was a Mazda RX-7 um, owned the car for probably 18 months or so and did quite a bit of work to it in that time I bought it with a freshly rebuilt engine which is a bridge ported engine and that was on tw the original twin turbos run non-sequentially. Now I ran it for the summer when I got the car on the stock twins, brought it back into the garage for the winter and then built it back up with a single turbo conversion. So the video I'm about to show you is the first turn of the key after I've done new single turbo, new manifold, new downpipe, wiring loom was stripped back because a load of sensors were done away with, it was all retaped and resoldered, rewired, and new coil packs, new wire into those, fuel pressure regulator, fuel lines, injectors, new intercooler, new intercooler piping, new radiator, new radiator piping, new everything. So apart from the block, which was a guaranteed good engine, everything else around it was, was brand new. So there's a lot of stuff to go wrong, but there's not as much stuff to go wrong as we're gonna have with this, because this is bare bones rebuild everything is brand new on this one whereas the engine was a known quantity on the rx7 so that was the first turn of the key and if you look at the reaction on that one i think it kind of puts into context the amount of reaction that we're probably going to have when we get this one going so um like i say guys that's our weekly update done and um, what does next week have in store you're gonna have to wait to find out see you soon stay tuned